everyone, and welcome to the Temple of Justice. I hope you're enjoying your visit to our beautiful Capitol campus. I'm Mary Fairhurst, Chief Justice of the State Supreme Court. I would like to tell you today a little bit about our court system. The court system in Washington has four levels of courts. The courts at all levels hear civil and criminal cases. A criminal case is when someone breaks a law, and if the person is found guilty, there will be consequences like paying a fine or going to jail or prison. A civil case can be anything that is not a criminal case. A civil case can be a legal matter or a disagreement that has to be settled in court. Sometimes money has to be paid, but no one will risk going to jail. The court system in Washington looks like a pyramid. The bottom half of the pyramid are the trial courts and the top half are the appellate courts. Starting at the bottom are the courts of limited jurisdiction. The courts of limited jurisdiction only can hear certain types of cases. At this lowest level, there are municipal courts that are set up by the cities and the district courts, which are set up by the counties. The next level up are the superior courts, which are also county courts. The trial courts may have a jury and a judge or only a judge. A jury are people from the community who decide the facts and make the decision. If there is no jury, then the judge acts as a fact finder and makes the decision. District and municipal courts hear smaller issues, such as traffic violations, small crimes called misdemeanors, civil disagreements involving less than $100,000, and small claims of less than $5,000. Superior courts hear more serious issues. They can hear cases involving big crimes called felonies, such as robbery or murder, they also hear all juvenile cases, family law cases, and cases with civil disputes involving over $100,000. Moving up the pyramid, the next level is the Court of Appeals, which reviews cases from the trial courts that have been appealed. That means they only hear cases that have already been decided in one of the trial courts and only when one of the parties in the case doesn't think the court decision is right and they ask the Court of Appeals to review. If someone doesn't like the decision that they received in a trial court, it is their right to appeal and be heard at the next higher court. Appeals from district and municipal courts first go as a matter of right to the superior court who review them like an appellate court. Appeals from the superior court go to the Court of Appeals as a matter of right. After that first review, that is one level higher as a matter of right, it is discretionary whether higher courts will review. So it is not guaranteed that you will get a second appeal. At the top of the pyramid is the Supreme Court, which is where I work. I am one of the nine justices. The other justices elected me to be Chief Justice, which means I make sure everything runs smoothly and the work gets done. My term as Chief Justice is for four years. All justices are elected by the people for six-year terms, but must retire in December following their 75th birthday. The Supreme Court justices get to pick their cases. The cases we pick often involve conflicting appellate court decisions, important constitutional questions, and matters of substantial public importance. When deciding what cases to review, we break into two groups of five, and I, as the Chief Justice, sit in both groups. All five of us have to agree to hear the case or not to hear the case. If the five are not unanimous, then the decision of whether to review goes to all nine justices and the majority vote decides. When it comes time for the oral argument at the Supreme Court, the petitioners, those arguing against the lower court's ruling, and the respondents, those arguing to keep the lower court's ruling, each only get 20 minutes to argue their positions. If they ask, sometimes the justices give them more time, but more time is usually only five or 10 more minutes. This may seem like a short amount of time, but remember, the justices know all the facts of the case because they have carefully read what happened in the lower court. They've also read in advance the legal arguments that both sides are making. Oral argument is the chance for the petitioner and respondent to explain why they think the ruling made below is correct or not correct, and to answer the questions of the justices. So that's a brief overview of the Washington State court system. 
your tour guide will be able to give you more information. Oh, and there's one more thing I want to tell you before I leave. If you like to play challenging video games, there are lots of really fun video games online at a site called iCivics.org. I-C-I-V-I-C-S dot O-R-G where you can learn more about the courts, the legislature, and other aspects of government. So please go to the site and have some fun while you learn about our government at the same time. Thank you for visiting our beautiful Washington State Capitol. Enjoy the rest of your visit.